Hi everybody, welcome to my uh, video on uh, planning menus and counting calories with Excel. Uh, and this video is for those who are not familiar with Excel at all or even those who have used Excel but are just perhaps curious about uh, how to plan menus with it. Alright, this is a sample that we're going to look at in a minute. But first I want to show you to the newbies uh, how to uh, get started. First you want to go up to the file menu and you want to put uh, new and then it will give you an option over here on the right for a blank document. You just click that open and now you'll have a blank document here. Okay. Now Excel is, is really uh, just formula based and there's a lot of uh, technical formulas for doing financial calculations and such. We're just going to be interested in, um, and let me start the timer here because i got 15 minutes. We're just going to be interested in uh, addition and uh, um, division, okay? So let's get started. Okay, let's say you, uh, first thing you have to remember that this operates in cells. Now, let's say that we want to pick this little cell right here. Okay, I'll put the cursor there. Okay, that cell is a product of the column C and the row 6. Okay, so that's C6 uh, and everything works that way. Okay, now let's let's say that we've got a 1 here, a 1 here, oh it's not a 1, so we've got a 1 here, a two and a three and a four and a five. Now what if we want to add those together in this cell right here? How would you do that? Well the best way to do it is, and you have to remember that all formulas start out with an equal sign. Okay, all formulas start out that way. So we want to add all those up. You could put, put uh, like C4 plus C5 plus C6 plus C7 plus C8 and that would look like this. 5 plus C6 plus C7 plus C8. And you notice every time you put in one of these cells it highlights it in the color that it itself is represented in. Okay, so that's our formula. Let's hit enter. Okay, well the sum total of that, those numbers is 14. But a better way to do this is, uh, by the way, if you want to highlight a cell, you put the X over there and then you double click it and it'll show you the formula. So let's get rid of that formula. The best way to do it is to use the sum function. You put equal, sum, and then you put a parenthesis and you put the first cell, which is C4. And then you put a colon and you put the last one in the row that you want to add, C8, and then you put a closed parentheses. Does everybody see that? C4 to C8. In other words, the colon means it's a range. It wants you to add the, you want to add the range from C4 to C8. Okay, let's hit enter. Okay, it says 15. A little different from the last one. I must have screwed up on the last one. But it's adding those numbers together for you. Okay, so hit enter. All right, now what if you got numbers this way? Okay, it would be the same, basically the same thing, but here you would have equals sum d d4 to i you see that? Close parentheses. Hit enter. Cancel. Oh, it's because I'll put uh, D4 to I4. Oh, it's H4. So this would be H4. Okay. Let's see, that's 15. So that's basically what you're going to do. Now, Let's say you wanted to take the sum, this 15, and you wanted to, and, you, and uh, let's take the 15 out. 
let's see, say you wanted to take the sum of these numbers here and divide it by this 15 here. Okay, to do that, you type equals sum d4 to h4, close parentheses, and then forward slash, this here is c9 divided by c9. See it did it for you. I just highlighted I just highlighted the cell over here that I wanted to divide it by and look it automatically puts c9 in there for me. Now this, that's just a fancy little the short uh, cut you don't really need to know. You just need to know the forward slash and divide it by the c9. That's all you really need to know. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to hit enter. And by the way, it's 1 because 15 divided by 15 is 1. Okay, now let's go to back to the, uh, the sample. Uh, well, let's, uh, wait, I want to show you percentage. Now, percentage, you know, is just a, uh, just a numerator denominator thing. Let's say I wanted to divide this number, which is I4, I want to divide it by this number, which is C9. <clears throat> okay, let's do that. Let's just do it in this cell right here. So we've got I equals I4 divided by C9. Okay, we're going to hit enter. Okay, and see it gives you a fraction there, 0 0.6, 0 0.0, blah, blah, blah. Now, if you want to convert that into percentage, you go up here to the top over here and see that percentage sign right there? Okay, you just click that. Well, first you got to put the cursor on there. Go up to the top and hit click percentage and look. Now you've got 7%. So it converts it converts it for you. All right, so that's the main thing. Okay, now let's go to that sample menu. That was okay. Here's a sample menu that I just threw together for this. I just want you, this is two different menus. Now I just made these up based on some things I've eaten before. Tilapia, bread, some fat-free milk, some almonds, and some uh, sweet peas. Now when you put these in, you're going to be using the nutrient labels, nutrition labels on the package itself, or if it's something that doesn't have a, a nutrition label, like uh, maybe tilapia, does, you're just buying it from uh, fresh from the, uh, uh, the, the uh, the butcher or whatever and there's no nutrition label on it you can go to a site called www.calorieking just one word calorieking.com and I have found that it has every food on there that I can think of and it gives you the nutrition values for all sizes all uh, different types of serving sizes sizes ounces cups half cups just whatever now I had no financial interest whatsoever in this site. It's just that I found that this one has worked for me. There may be a better one out there somewhere, so knock yourself out. But whatever you look at, if it's got if it's giving you the nutrition values in ounces, then notice here I have tilapia, one ounce, bread, one ounce, fat-free milk, one cup. Almonds one ounce, peas half cup, because I just had to remember that on the back of my peas, when it gives you the nutrition values, it's in a half, it's in half cup. It's just easier to transpose the numbers here. Now this column here, this is a multiple of whatever serving size you have here. So the number three means I use three ounces of tilapia, two ounces of bread, one cup of fat-free milk, a half ounce of almonds, one half cup 
in other words, a half cup of peas. All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to create a column with the, you've got the amount, and then you're going to type in carb grams, carb calories, protein grams, protein calories, fat grams, fat calories, total calories, and you're going to percent carbon, uh, carbohydrates, percent protein, percent fat. Okay, don't worry about all the fancy uh, uh, bold outlines. Don't worry about that right now. Okay, then you're going to look up the nutrition values. And you're going to write these values down. You're going to do one item at a time. How are you going to enter it? Now, tilapia just so happens doesn't have any carbohydrate grams. So this would be zero. It does have protein grams, 17.1, but that's per three ounces. How am I going to do this? What you want to do is you want to set it up to where you can change these numbers to balance out how much you want, is, you know, what kind of macronutrient ratios you want. You want to be able to change these up to where it automatically changes these values here. So let me show you under tilapia protein grams. I'm going to put the X over there. I'm going to double click it and show you the formula. Okay, look, the formula, the formula is B7, which is B7 is this here, times 5.7. That's because there's 5.7 grams of protein per ounce. So you want to multiply, you want to be able to make this 5.7 a multiple of what's in this amount column. So it's going to multiply 5.7 times 3. And when you multiply that out, it's 17.1. Okay? Now, how about the protein calories? Again, let's double click the formula. Now, it's going to take the value that appears in F7, which is a protein gram, and it's going to multiply that times 4. Because, now write this down. For carbohydrates, there are 4 calories per gram. For protein, there are four calories per gram of protein. For fats, there are nine calories per gram for fat. So those you need to write that down and or memorize them. Okay, now let's go to the fat. Again, let me just show you that formula. It's multiplying that number three times 0.5 because there's 0.5 grams of fat per one ounce of tilapia. Now let me show you the, the fat calories. Again, it's multiplying that number times nine because there's nine calories per gram. Okay, now let me show you the formula for the total calories. Now, what this is doing, it's just adding up the calories, the carbs, protein, and fat. It's just a matter of E7 plus G7 plus I7, okay? Now you're going to do that for each and every one of these menu items. And then you're going to play around with the numbers to get it in the right macronutrient ratio. And if you watch my other videos, I, I advocate a 50, 30, 20 ratio. And I've gotten it pretty close. I've got it 53, 29, 18. You know, anywhere from 50 to 55, and uh, 30 to 35 and 15 to 20 is perfectly fine. It's, you can't get these exact all the time. Okay, now let's go to the percentages. Okay, let me show you the formula for uh, percentages. 16% fat. Let's double click that formula. What's it taking? It's taking the fat calories, I7. And it's dividing it by J7, the total number of calories for that. So that's all it is. Now, let's look at this one. It's taking the protein calories, dividing it by the total calories, and then I convert it to percent. Now, here's the thing. You're gonna do, you're gonna write down everything you want in your menu plan in the serving size that you've got the uh, nutrition values for 